Good to see you. How did you get into cricket in the first place? I guess playing with family, playing with my dad, playing with my brother in the garden. Was your dad a, a cricketer? I think he played for uh, Gloucestershire schools back in the day, so I think that, that kind of allows him to give me his thoughts on, on games and uh, my performance and stuff. Obviously we've got some brilliant coaches who can also do the same thing and probably have a little bit more experience than he does. But I think everyone's dad gives them <laughs> and who else uh, were, were you inspired by? Has there been a player or colleague or someone who you really wanted to be like? Well, when I was at uni, I chose to go to Loughborough Uni because of the brilliant cricket programme they had and, and Sally Ann Briggs had kind of asked me if I wanted to go to Loughborough and develop my cricket and further that. Catherine Brunt was the coach at the time for my first year. She asked me if I was serious about playing for England and so she was a sort of a mentor for you, in yeah. A way. And at the, obviously, at the time, she was a world-class bowler and someone who I was very scared of actually um, to meet for the first time. So, what other sports have you brought into your? Because you, you, you're a very innovative kind of cricketer. Uh, so, have you? Yeah. Can you? Can you put your finger on other sports that have helped? Uh, I'd say hockey and tennis, probably a lot of that hand-eye like coordination and. Um, that I would use for sweeps and reverse sweeps and, and things like that is is very useful. What about the um, origin of the nat meg? Did that come from luck or other sports? It was probably mainly luck because I was getting out to balls because I used to fall over quite a lot um, in my stance so I was getting out to balls that were kind of angled in and yorker length so then I just end up ended up having to put my back there because otherwise it would just hit the stumps again. <laughs> what about your favourite memory of a Keir Oval? Favourite day there? I think it's got to be my first day there um, as a Surrey cricketer. I think I was fairly new to the team when Ebony Rainford Brent was still playing. I think we were playing Wales and she scored 150. I think I got about 30. Um, so we had a great partnership, obviously. But yeah, I got to watch her England player, an ex-England player, scoring a lot of runs at the O4 when I was there at the other end with her. <laughs> trying my best and, and trying to imitate her, really. Um, and what would you say to um, to a girl, you know, say a teenage girl, wanted to take up cricket? What would you say to them, firstly, about um, how to apply themselves? And secondly, why would you encourage them to take up cricket? In terms of cricket as a sport, you get to play with with 10 other other girls who, if, you, if you're lucky enough, you get to travel the world with, with a group of, of friends and, and really enjoy yourself in different countries and, and learn things about the world. I think that's one of the best bits about cricket. In terms of someone who, who's aspiring to be to be someone in cricket, I think just make sure you, you're enjoying yourself and that it's something that you love and be your own self and be your own individual and put your own mark on the game. Well, you obviously do love it. Yeah, definitely. I've got the lucky, the best job in the world, really. Well, that was great. Fascinating. Thanks for your time. Brilliant. Brilliant. Cheers, now. Thanks.